In this video, I wanted to take a minute and demonstrate how to remove a terminal from a connector. And so I'll show you a few examples of how you could do this. Um, you'll need some kind of a small tool to get the terminals out. And these, I have these just to show you, are examples of some tor tools that you can buy at the store that would do that. However, I own these and I rarely use them actually. So I just have them here to show, show you them. Another option, some people will take the, the stiffener out of a windshield wiper blade. This, this is one of the metal stiffeners that uh, come in the blade. And when you replace your blades, you have these left over. And they'll cut these to make little tools they can use to remove the, the terminals. But in my experience, the tool that I often use the most is one that I just have around when I'm working with connectors and terminals anyway. And it's a T-pin. It seems to fit almost all of them and works very well. And maybe I like it best just because it's handy. But here's how you do this. I'll show you some examples. Every connector is just a little bit different. Um, this one right here, for example, has a plastic piece that snaps over the top. We've got to remove it first. Okay, so on this connector, you can use a screwdriver for this first part if you want to, or the T-pin might work. We've got to just remove this plastic piece. And once I take that off, I can see the four terminals in there. One piece of advice that I would give you is to snap a picture of this with your phone or with a camera before you remove any terminals, especially if there's more than one wire that you're removing so you don't accidentally switch them, or if there's an empty slot where the terminal will be that you are going to be replacing so that you don't accidentally put the wrong wire back into the wrong spot. Once you've removed this, it looks like there's one on the back as well. It's got to come off because it retains the retains the wires here. So again, I'll use this, or maybe it's even more appropriate to have a, a screwdriver, but since I have the teeth in here, I'll see if it'll work. We'll remove this black wire first. So you'll notice as you look down into here, there is a plastic tab that locks each of these terminals into place. And so all I've got to do is pull this plastic tab away from the terminal while I'm pulling the wire out the back with my other hand. And it comes out just like that. Pretty simple. Notice this, it's got a rubber seal here. That's to keep moisture from getting into the connector. You'll also notice down inside of this, this end, you've got another rubber silicone seal so that when the connectors snap together, water can't get in there. It's important that we don't lose those. Those do keep the connectors from becoming corroded and, and getting resistance. And now to put that back in, I just make sure that I put it back in in the exact same direction that it came out. If I turn this sideways or turn it backwards, it may fit into the, the slot, but it won't lock. So put it back in the same way that it came out. And push it in until you hear it snap. Once it's snapped, tug on it and make sure that it's locked in place, but that's how it's done. And you can put the plastic pieces back on. Like that. Now I have a couple of other connectors. I'll just show you briefly how they work. They're slightly different. This one here looks like maybe it's from a fuel injector. I don't see any plastic retainer on the top side here, but on the back, it's got this piece right here that we just need to pop off. And then it looks pretty much the same way over here on this side. You can't see it quite as well, but you'd stick the T pin down in this hole here and pull the pull the tab back, remove the terminal. I'll pull one more over here. This one's just a little bit different. There's nothing on the back in this case. But there is, if you look at the top, just another, some kind of a plastic retainer that has to come out. Once you pull that out, you'll see the same thing. You've got a, a tab down there that holds the terminals in place. You just need to release that tab, pull the terminal out. Once you've learned how to remove one terminal, they're all pretty similar, although every connector is slightly different. You'll just have to look at them and see if you can figure out how it comes apart. 
but they do come apart, so when you need to service a single wire or terminal, it is possible.